bam, back uh, with another video. We're going to be talking about AMC. We're going to be talking about Tesla, Spy. We're going to be talking about a scout play we did today. We might even talk about GameStop, IMPP, Excella. It'll be a lot of stocks in here. We the only video today, so make sure you watch it. Smash the like button. Get the video over 150 likes if you guys want a video tomorrow. And um, yeah, subscribe if you are new. So let's get into it straight away. The first one is AMC stock. AMC kind of stalled out today. Did not really do much. If we take all this away, kind of stalled, right? Did it really move up? Did it really move down? Kind of just traded sideways. If you look at the five minute chart, had one big drop and stalled right around $4 or so. And it is up about 1% after hours, but hasn't done much. Remember, we have a resistance level at about $4.20 and we have a support at about $3.85. The only thing I'm watching right now is resistance at $4.20. I want to see what happens here. Does AMC come up here and then reverse? Does AMC come up here and actually break it? That would be very bullish. I think we'll have no problem getting up to like 460 or so. That can be a smaller gain in there. We need to see. But watch $4.20, the main thing I am watching. Now, let's go to AMD for advanced micro devices. We actually played AMD today on the team. That's why I say make sure you use that code 19 off. You get 19% off your first month when you do elite or VIP. When you join the team, you get everything I buy and sell. I teach you guys how to trade, how to find these key levels, how to find these key plays. To really build yourself as a trader, get the knowledge. Use that code right now because you can get 19% off. I believe this code ends Sunday. You can see the play right here. I did AMD put option play. I sent you guys a month strike price I paid, where I'm looking to exit, what type of play it is. I sold half of them for a 10% gain. I sold a quarter for a 15% gain. And then I sold another quarter for 11% gain. I literally been showing you when it plays every single day. And this only took three minutes for that play to get in. So how did I find it? One, AMD is going down. This was the open here, this white line, and this was actually when news was coming out, and then my target was about $93. So we got to wait for news, right? So I don't want to play any of this window here. We want to play here, right? We're looking for downward side pressure, and it hit a resistance area here. So we saw resistance at resistance areas when news was coming out. So all we needed was a confirmation down candle. Boom. There it was. That was the entry, and we literally exited here, right? For average of 12% gain, it was done. The play was done. It doesn't matter what happens after your play. As long as you get your target in, you get your profit in, and you move on to the next day, you are good. Because say you're greedy, and then you hold, right? You want to hold for more, and then it reverses. Now you're in a loss. So have that risk management. But that was the AMD play we did today. Use that code 19 off. You do not want to miss these plays. We literally are winning every day. You can ask anybody in the team, okay? Next one. Let's go over GameStop real quick, and then we're going to go over APE real quick as well. GameStop tried to break the support level, but it did not really break it, okay? So we're still watching for support at about $22. Now, on the upside of GameStop, the only level that I really would be interested in playing GameStop to the upside is if it broke $23. It would have to break $23. Right now, it's about $22, so it's not that far away from it. But that's the level I would want to break for me to be even interested in looking to play GameStop on the upside, right? Take a symbol GME. And that's pretty much it for GameStop. Next one is APE. I don't know why, but I feel like APE wants to break out to the higher side, at least until they convert. So, held support perfectly at $1.60, right? Held support perfectly. We had a resistance level at $1.70. I'm going to take that off. New resistance is at $2, right? So, it has a wide range to get up into that resistance area. Where we are now to $2.00. That's over a 16-ish percent gain, and maybe we have a smaller resistance like $1.90, which would be about 11-ish percent gain. But overall, possibly get over a 10%, but APE is down about 8% after hours, right? So this support at $1.60, that was a possible play, but this support would have to move down here now at about $1.50. But this $1.50 area could also be a buying pressure area, so... Let's see what happens to APE, the AMC Preferred Equity Shares, what happens here, okay? $1.50, we want to be watching out for that. That's the only level I'll probably be watching is $1.50. I want to see if the support holds, if buying pressure comes in, what happens. That's what I'll be looking out for. Now, let's go to Tesla. As I keep as I keep telling you guys, I believe Tesla's going to about $160. We do have some plays on Tesla. I'm looking for Tesla to even drop more, and I'm also looking to buy more long-term shares on Tesla around that 160 so a lot of stuff is kind of happening but you want to watch the support level at a dollar 85 it's a support level buying level all in one resistance level on tesla is going to go down also i'll probably put resistance around 192 we'll put it there for now one 
Oh, hold up. Make sure you guys smash the like button to get the video over 150 likes. I appreciate it. Tesla around 192 is resistance, 185 for support and buying pressure. For sure, if it breaks this level, that's going to be very bad for Tesla. It tried to break it here, right? Tried to break it, tried to test that resistance, never wanted to go down, came back above it, and kind of just traded all through here, pretty much the through midday to the end of the market close. But I do believe Tesla is going to 160, so kind of watch out for that. And I do plan on playing Tesla to the downward side as it gets to 160. So I plan on making a lot of money on Tesla downside. The only way I'll turn more bullish is if we start to break resistance areas. And the first one is 192. Okay. Now let's go to INPP. INPP is this uh, parent petroleum. This is right at a buying level, about 19 cents. So I would say, let's see what happens here tomorrow. Remember the market is closed Friday for Good Friday. And we got news coming out tomorrow morning, about an hour before the market opens. So you got to wait for that as well. But INPP is at a critical level. If we do get buying pressure off of here, I really don't see no clear exit until like 23 cents. So it could be a nice game. But I would say kind of just watch it in there. Excello is still at support level. Hasn't really done much. 0 0.0350. It's just hanging around there. It's nothing clear to play on this right now. It's not really showing buying pressure to the upside. It's kind of just stalling out and moving around. Even if it goes up one, two days, I wouldn't even get happy about that. I would want it to go up for about a week, right? A week, strong week of just up movement. And that's when it's really going to start getting some movement. And then I'll probably turn bullish on it. But for right now, it's very bearish. It's also, the SP500, ticker symbol SPY, this is something you should be watching every day you are in the market. If you are not watching SPY, you need to. You need to know what the SPY is doing, okay? It's the SP500 ETF Trust SPY. We have some levels on here, but we have ran up a lot. Now, this is a support level, but it could also turn into a big buying level and SPY could trend up fast to the higher side and actually start breaking up to about 420 or so. So it is something you want to be watching out for. This could be a signal that it starts pushing up. But if it actually starts breaking down below like 406, 405, then this is probably a high here and we're probably going to crash down more. But for right now, um, we might be rising up on SPY, which means other stocks might be rising up as well. So be mindful of that. But that's kind of what I see in um, the SP500 ticker symbol SPY. <clears throat> so watch that on SPY. I will give levels on IWM and QQQ, but I just feel like SPY is more like is more something you should be watching right now than like these other ones. And then DWAC. DWAC was something I was interested in. This is um, Digital World Acquisition, the Trump stock. Um, it was something I was interested in, but it actually broke support, tested support as resistance. And then it kept going down. So I would say new support is about 13.20. And then resistance is probably like $14. So I would say watch that on DWAC. And then we can also go over NEO real quick. NEO is breaking down. I probably get put options on NEO. I don't really like it to the upside. It's probably going to break more all time lows. So Nothing really on NEO that I would like. Even Rivian. Rivian has kind of just died down as well. And any of the stocks you guys want me to go over in tomorrow's video, make sure you let me know in the comment section down below so I can add them. But other than that, Rivian is not really looking good. I wanted, I knew Rivian was going to go up to about 550 but after that, it's pretty much done for, I would say. So they do have a buying level right around $14. Maybe we can get some buying pressure off of that. But so far... It has to pull down some more, probably has to pull down about like three or four more percent to see if that's going to activate or not. OK, thank you guys for watching the video. Smash that like button and subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at will.knowledge. This is my only Instagram. Make sure you're following the right to one. OK, but always remember, no circulation to buy or sell anything just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye.